Hi, I'm Alan McNaughton, a full-stack JavaScript and PHP developer. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about my Angular front-end uh, CRM system. Um, this platform that you're seeing here was built for a uh, nonprofit. It was actually my first real Angular project, and I learned a lot doing it. I also created a RESTful API uh, that's written in PHP that the Angular app uses to interact with the data store. Uh, this API provides a higher level of abstraction than the programmatic interface provided by the CRM system. It composites multiple pieces of CRM data together into more meaningful records. Let's take a quick walk through the front end and I'll, then I'll show you the code that makes it happen. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. There's a search panel on the left side, the results on the right side. The are all sorts of filtering parameters that you can pass through uh, to the, the, the API, which then will make the appropriate queries on the back end. Um, so, you know, you can uh, look for certain types of people, you can look within a geography, uh, you can look for people that have certain attributes of um, skills, you look for people that have certain skills, you can look for people that have a certain relationships to others, and you can do basic searches by names. Um, so we're going to go ahead and clear out this panel, and we're just going to look for a basic query by, by name, and we're going to find everybody that starts with AL, and so uh, here we have all the uh, records that match and uh, we're going to click on the first one and this is going to bring up an organization record. Uh, organizations are different than individuals. They actually have additional information associated with them such as who is in the board of directors of this, uh, this organization and who are the employees of this organization. So as you can see we're using Angular modal dialogues to pop these up on top of the search results set. So we never lose the actual uh, context of what we're looking at. Um, so for example, uh, now we're looking at the individual employee who's a, a separate record in the system, of course, um, and that has been pulled from the, the data store via the API. So uh, the Angular modal dialogues stack, so we, we never lose track of where we are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually go and, and, and clear this out again. And I'm going to look for myself and show you uh, the edit functionality. So um, since I am a, a registered user of the site and I'm the current user and looking at my own record, I have the ability to edit this record. So this pops up a, a different type of Angular dialogue, the edit profile uh, template. And this then allows me to make changes to it. And then um, once it's saved, of course, I catch that event uh, in Angular and uh, convert that into the appropriate requests uh, uh, for the API to save that information out. And then the API actually figures out where all these different attributes are stored because they're stored all over the CRM system and, and writes them back out. So it decomposes the record that I give it into all the little objects that are relevant um, to it. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and show you quickly the code that um, I've published here on GitHub. Uh, this is only a, a portion of the code. Um, I can't publish the whole thing. It's a part of another system. Um, but I have uh, pulled out the relevant Angular and, and PHP parts. Um, so the Angular code, um, well, it's very straightforward. It's, it's written using the uh, John Papa um, Angular style guide, who I really like his stuff. And um, you know, these are the different dependencies that we have here. We're depending upon URL, Smart Table, uh, and some other um, Angular packages. Um, now, this code, um, most of it is in the, the controllers, of course, and the templates. So we have a controller, and let's look at the show profile controller and see what that does. This is what actually renders those profile dialogues. And, um, you know, according to John Papa's style, uh, you know, we reference the uh, Angular module uh, in this manner up here, a little bit different uh, than saying like var app equals and then having a global variable. So, you know, we also have everything wrapped inside a uh, immediately uh, executable function expression, um, which is handy because that, that then, you know, hides uh, stuff from the global scope. Um, and then we inject these different dependencies uh, into the Angular controller. And of course, Angular then works its magic and finds these things and, and it makes these objects available to us. Um, so, uh, you know, what this thing is going to do is when somebody is going to show a profile, uh, we want to go out to the API and get that record. So, um, you know, this is a REST type API. So basically it's uh, what type of thing are we looking for, plus the parameter, the ID of it. 
And then, uh, you know, when the success function is called, uh, we simply update the scope contact, which then um, Angular and its uh, magic then updates everything in the template accordingly. Um, so I can show you the template quickly, an example of that. Um, you can look at this at your own le at your own pace whenever you like. It's all on GitHub. Um, so here we have the uh, show profile HTML. Um, this is all bootstrap uh, type stuff with Angular directives mixed into it. And this is what generates the, the various um, UI aspects of the site, the view. Um, so pretty straightforward. Uh, it's definitely not rocket science, um, but it is Angular, which makes it really interesting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at the PHP code here. Uh, this this code leverages the, the Slim framework, which is a uh, very simple uh, PHP framework and really gives us great routing capabilities. Uh, so we're including the Slim framework um, and we're auto loading that and we're making a connection to some other components in the, in the system that we're residing within. And then we're, we're catching these uh, URLs. So, uh, for example, you know, we're saying, okay, when something comes in that maps to slash contacts and has an ID on it, well, then we're, then we're, this piece of code is going to get executed and it's a get, uh, then this code will get executed. We're going to create a new contact record, uh, which, uh, is actually a, a class that I created here, um, to simplify interaction with the CRM system. So we can look at that quickly and, uh, this code then, uh, when you, instantiate this class with the ID. It goes out and calls the uh, API, the city API, uh, get contact uh, method, which is another piece of code that I wrote that then pulls, um, makes a request to the uh, CV CRM database and pulls all the right attributes together um, to create the contact record in a way that makes sense to us. And it has other functionality in here for saving uh, contacts and normalizing data and stuff like that. Um, so there's another interesting uh, file in here, the CV API file. Um, this just goes to show, um, you know, how one actually interacts with CV at a low level. I know when you instantiate this class, well, um, you need to, you know, run this constructor, uh, which uh, pulls some information back and sets up the connection to um, CV. Um, and uh, you can see all this code here. These are the, the CV API uh, calls. Uh, these are actually, this code is running on the same server and the same process as the CRM system. Um, so it actually is not doing a, a, a over the wire call. It's simply calling into the code base that is CV CRM to pull the right data out, out of it. So uh, you can look at this code at your leisure. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's some you know interesting things and it shows my coding style fairly well. Uh, you know, I aim for simplicity and to keep, you know, my methods small and, and straightforward. So um, I hope that was helpful.